Thanks a lot, Ankita. Earthquake felt in Srinagar and in Pakistan, but its epicenter was in Hindukush in Afghanistan of 6.2 magnitude. That happened at 3.35 uh, this uh, afternoon. On the other hand, flood situation seen in Punjab as it's been raining there continuously in uh, over the last three days, especially in areas like Himachal Pradesh, which is why the Bhakranang uh, Dam has released excess water. People were moved out of some locations to safer areas. Now, in Delhi, the month of July recorded 235 millimeters of rain against the norm of 214. Around the airport, the rain recorded was even more around close to about 361 millimeters. That was last month, but this month, Delhi has has witnessed quite a few spells, but yesterday the rain was non-stop. Let's just take into account how much it rained yesterday, the highest being in Ayanagar at almost 72 millimeters. We have seen about uh, 41.2 millimeters as far as Sabdajang is concerned. Now that makes it a 10% surplus from what we usually see in the month of August. But overall, as far as the season is concerned, let's take into account how much it's rained over the season. Here we see an 8% surplus. Yes, uh, it is uh, definitely, uh, Delhi is in the green, which is reflected in the lushness in and around the city and this 8% surplus is what we are seeing and it's likely to rain over the next couple of days as well in fact what the Mumbai department is telling us that it's likely to rain till about Wednesday in the capital but much lesser than what we saw on Sunday rains expected also in Uttarakhand as well as Himachal Pradesh over the coming 24 hours but all this fails to make an impact on the overall performance is running short by almost 9% in the southern part of the country we see a deficit of 22% central parts coming in at 8% the east has now stepped into double digits and the north seems to be moving out of its surplus zone. Let's speak of the worst affected areas. No guesses here. Marathwada tops the charts, running 52% short of what is normally seen there this time of the year. In the north interiors of Karnataka, it's coming in at 45%. Rayal Seema, east of the Pradesh, as well as Bihar, have been struggling right from the very start. And as far as Kerala is concerned, uh, we are seeing almost a 30 percent shortage now all these places do need some kind of a makeup plan from the monsoon i know it's too less and too late in the day but however the uh, situation just shouldn't get worse from what it is already that's the latest on the weather as well as this bulletin stay with us lots more coming up on the other side